an Israelite man was able to have more than one woman. Yeah. The, this, is this, this nation here, according to their law, they'll say it's polygamy and, and it's not right. But that's, this, is a, this is a homosexual nation. As you can see, homosexuality keeps on running rampant and rampant. See? They'll say that's okay, but a man having more than one woman is not. So the reason why they did that is by design to make our people, our men, into, into fem, feminine homosexual. You know? But a real man is supposed to have more than one. When this woman out her period, he wants the one that's not. You feel me? He ain't supposed to have no woman that's not her, 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 her own. That, that's the law too. So she's not her rag. All right, baby, look, you, you, I ain't touching you. I'm gonna stay away. You're supposed to stay away for those seven days. You're supposed to be according to the law of God. You go to your next woman, man. Yep. Yo, check it out, baby. I'm, I'm here. Deal with her. And the other one, that, that you might have three. You shit, you might have four. However you, you know, however you able to swing. Plus, another says. That's the problem with this place, man. Oh no, no, man. Have one woman. The, the woman, all this power they gave her. According to the Bible, man, woman ain't supposed to have no power over you. You the man. That's right. That's the problem with America today, man. That's why your household, man, your, your father wasn't there. I mean, I don't know if y'all, but y'all, but the majority of our people, the father ain't there because the mother didn't argue and talk shit to him. They argued and fought, and he had to leave. If not, the cops come, lock his ass up. You see, all the nations, man, they look at America like, like America ain't shit because it's not. Man. All, everything is upside down, man. Everything's upside down, man. A woman kicking you your balls, man. You can't do shit. Yes. You, boom, you knock it. You, oh, that's your ass, man. You, you, you're locked up for years, man. Now when you get out, out of jail, oh, you're a, you're a, you're a woman abuser. You know, you're all this, you're all that. But it's to downplay the man. That's why we're coming back to who we are. The men of Israel, the Israelites. The real Israelites. The, uh, the white people in Israel today, that, those are not the real Jews. You are. you are the real Jews. Man. Let me get Revelation 2 and 9. Y'all gonna learn before y'all leave, y'all gonna learn something today, man. That you are, you are, you are the, the children of God, that you are God. Get, get Psalms. No, Psalms 80, uh, what was it, 80, 62, 82 and 60. You are God. Why do you think, who rules sports, man? Who rules basketball, football? If the white man was so damn good and strong and better, who, why, why isn't he dominating in all these arenas, man? I, it was their sport to begin with. We took it over, man. How, how, why? And we were once slaves. No, nah, man, we're not the real slaves, man. We were in slavery, but we're not, we're, the, we're really the kings of this earth. That's why we're, we're far more better than them. We're stronger than them. The Bible talks about we're the children of Jacob. It said that the, that the elder, the one to come out, which is Esau, the so-called white man, shall serve the younger in the future. The younger was Jacob. It says that the one people were gonna be stronger than the other people. Now you tell me who, who today, who do you think that is? Go ahead. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye yeah, are God. This is this is the real God speaking. He said that you you are gods, man. We were once God. We have power. We were strong. We took down mighty nations, man. Shit, we fought King David fought with lions, man, and bears, man. Like he was just playing with them, just wrestling with them, man. Like now. Tell me if you can do that today. Go ahead. Says, I have said, ye are gods. So we are gods. The nation of Israel, the children of Israel. We are gods. But go ahead. And and all of you are, are children of the Most High. We are children of the Most High. Go ahead. But ye shall die like men. But we shall die like men. We lost our power because we forgot to come back to the laws, man, of this Bible. Go back to the Bible, man. Read the Bible. Know that y'all Israelites. And we got a sign up front. <laughs> we got a sign up front and list who our people are. It's just swamp tribe. So the next world is ours. We're taking over. Now let's get back to the topic at hand. Let's go back to the Bohemian Grove, right? Uh, you got Nahum the third chapter? Oh uh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I wanna get uh. Yeah, I got you. Right. Now check this out. This I always bring out this book because this book is an informative book. It came out in the 1980s. Satan's Angels Exposed by Sam Kirby. Okay. Yeah. It goes into the, the masonry and witchcraft. <laughs> now this particular chapter is the eighth chapter, 
it's, and it's titled The Rise of the Druids, all right? Getting back to the topic at hand, we're talking about the uh, elites going out to Sonoma County, California, and to the Redwood Forest to perform the cremation of care to worship a 40-foot owl by the name of Molek, and they sacrifice children unto him. All right? So now, what they're doing is exactly what the Druids did back back uh, in the in the um, in the medieval times, right? Worshiping gods, idols in the forest. Now this is called the rise of the Druids because the Druids come back again. They came they came back as the elites, so-called white men, the elites of the so-called white men, right? It says. <laughs> All right, it says, uh, the Druids are mentioned by name in some 30 references by Greek and Roman writers between the second century BC and the fourth century AD. I'm sorry, damn, they, they go back to the BC era, to the fourth century AD era. So they're, they're ancient, man. Right? Druids are a member of the Celtic religious order of the mystic priests who originated in ancient Britain, Ireland, and France. The word Druid means the men of the oak trees. So what are they doing in Sonoma County? They worship it under the oak trees, man. The redwood, the redwood oak trees, which are which are tall ass trees, ancient trees, by the way. Okay, in Sonoma County. All right, it says about about 1,245 AD, a gathering of the of Druids was held with representatives from many geographical regions and the objectives of the order of the Druids was agreed upon. A grove was founded in England which still exists today. Mount Hormis Grove. And you can look you can look that up, Google that. The reason why it exists today because because the so-called white men are they're worshiping that same oak just like the ancient Druids did. Okay? Druids along with the Rosicrucians and Freemasons are a mixture of mystical occult societies which were influenced by the mystic Jacob Bohm. Jacob Bohm propounded the theory that the Trinity was the sky, the sun. Bohm further believed that the just, that just as God is threefold, so man being created in the image of God is threefold. This is how Bohm developed the thrice born or three births theology. It should be noted that several uh, that several very prominent Christians claim to be thrice born. The origin of such statements can only be attributed to witchcraft and the occult, because a lot of these the, all these religions in, America, in the United States are down with the occult. John Todd brought that up. John Todd, when he so-called claimed to be saved, he said that he tried to look for a church <coughs> that was not infiltrated by the Illuminati and couldn't find one, man. All right? It says, Boom, reason. The elemental birth gives man his body. The astral birth gives him his instincts and intelligence, which he shares with the other animals. The spiritual birth gives man the divine essence, the ingredient in him which is potentially the most side. This is all bullshit, man. Okay. But, but this is what the Freemasons uh, and the mystical, different myst myst mystical groups believe in, all right? Bohm combined Christian mysticism and Kabbalah and a court numerical philosophy developed by Jewish Jewish rabbis in the Middle Ages because it goes back to the Babylonian Jewish uh, 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 myst mysticism religions of back in Babylon, which were Jake. They, J Israel created that bullshit. All right. The Druids. 
picked up some of, of this philosophy and incorporated it into their mysticism. The secret teachings of the Druids were never written, but were communicated orally to specially prepared candidates. <laughs> Such practices continue today in modern day witchcraft, right here in America, man. Well, America's supposed to be a Christian kingdom, yeah. a Christian uh, uh, um, nation, man. Bullshit. Bullshit. Modern day witchcraft in the Council of 13 and in the Masons Council of 33. The Druids, as do witches of today, believe in reincarnation. Which, which is cool because that's that's in the back. See, witchcraft is the counterpart of of the righteousness of the Lord, of our righteousness. You see, so we believe in reincarnation, and so do they. They're the they're the, ex, the exact they're the negative. We are the positive. It says um, they believe in a purgatorial type of hell where they would be purged of their sins afterward passing on to the happiness of, of unity with the gods. The Druids taught <coughs> that all men will be saved, but that some must return to earth many times to learn the lessons of human life and to overcome the inherent evil of their own nature. Before a candidate was entrusted with the secret doctrines of the Druids, he was bound with a vow of secrecy. These doctrines were revealed only in the depths of a forest. To, hear this. These doctrines were revealed only in the depths of forests. That's where they're at right now. The Illuminati in the depths of the forest in Sonoma County, known as the Redwood Oak Forest. And in the darkness of the caves. Now who dwelt in the caves? Esau did. The cave dwelling, the real cavemen. All right. The Druids celebrate a number of feast days at the at dawn on the 25th day of December. Showing you December 25th is not when the Lord was born, man. It's a high, highly satanic date. The birth of the sun. Give me a second. It says. The birth of the sun god was celebrated. The Druids had a Madonna or virgin mother with a child in her arms. That goes back to the uh, the uh, uh, Horus, uh, uh, Tammuz, uh, Isis. Sinorinus. Right. Uh, what is it? Isis, Horus, and Tammuz. Yeah. Nimrod. Yeah. Isis. Sinorinus. Right. Sinorinus. That that. See, so all these guys are, are replayed again, re, 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 refurbished and brought uh, uh, under different names. Refurbished gods. The Druids had a Madonna or Virgin Mother with, with a child in her arms, and their son God was re resurrected at the time of the year corresponding to that at which we celebrate Easter. Just like the story of Nimrod, resurrected. Yeah, speak up, yeah. yeah just like the, well, the story of Nimrod, because Nimrod. Had a, uh, had a wife called um, Semiramis, I believe, and the son was Tammuz. Right. And then Nimrod was supposed to be reincarnated back as Tammuz. Right. You know, so. And that, if I'm correct, Tammuz is the moon god. You know. So. Uh, yeah. And it's a, yeah yep. It's a correlation. It's, you know. So it says, it is amazing how Satan becomes the great imitator. The Druids worship the sun, moon, and stars. They also worship the serpent. The famous Stonehenge in southwestern England is a druid altar. That's where they sacrifice children and people on, man. Initiates had to pass through three degrees of the juridic mysteries. Few successfully passed them all. They included burying the candidate in a coffin. The sign ring a bell. That, that goes back to the uh, Brotherhood of Death. George Bush and all of them in the yeah. in um the stone right yeah. the skull and bones yeah the 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 tomb in Yale New Haven Connecticut they shoot in that movie right with, uh, with Matt Damon like bones and what's it called what's it called uh, um, um 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 damn man skulls oh the good shepherd skulls. the good shepherd oh, the good shepherd, oh, the good shepherd. Oh, the good shepherd right. right yeah like so like the others bringing out 
that's a, the, the Good Shepherd with Matt Damon. I haven't, I haven't seen that movie in a while, but they actually 